Aloha my friends, Christina here. I am so happy to share with you what I am growing in my garden. I currently have over 30 varieties of fresh veggies, roots, and herbs. As I walk you through my garden, I'll be picking ingredients that I'm gonna be using in my dinner tonight, and I'll show you how I make simple and nourishing meals from my garden. I will have a property update coming for you all very soon. I have been harvesting some very exciting fruits lately that I cannot wait to share with you. I'm currently standing in my garden that I built from scratch, and I'm also living on a farm where I am stewarding the land and I've planted more than 700 organic fruit trees. I've actually made several videos on this. I've made a video showing you how I built my garden from beginning to end, and I've also shared with you some videos showing you what types of trees that I've planted on the property and more, and I'll link those below for you. Something that I am very passionate about is growing my own food, and one of my intentions with this video is to inspire and to encourage you to start growing your own food as well. Whether it be in a garden, sprouts on your countertop, microgreens in trays, whatever it might be, this is the best time to learn how to grow your own food. It is such an empowering tool, and I believe that it is more important now than ever to have this skill set. I hope that today's video inspires you to even just think about growing your own food. I'm so happy to share that this video is in collaboration with True Leaf Market, my favorite source for organic, non-GMO, and heirloom seeds. If you've seen any of my previous videos, then you know I love True Leaf Market seeds. Almost everything that is growing in my garden was planted from a True Leaf seed. True Leaf Market not only has the best fruits and vegetable seeds, but also they have sprouting seeds, microgreen seeds, fermentation kits, and so much more. They are your one stop shop for organic seeds and I cannot recommend them enough to you. If you're looking to grow your own garden or grow your own sprouts or microgreens, you definitely want to source your seeds from True Leaf Market. Not only are they the best quality seeds, but also they have an excellent germination rate and they are so affordable. I've gone ahead and included a special sales link in the description for True Leaf Market below. I hope that you go and stock up on some seeds and enjoy. Simba wants to be in the action today, but Simba got himself in a little bit of trouble the other day and got his eye scratched. He really just wants to be around mommy, poor thing. All right, let's put you inside real quick. So let me show you what I have growing in my garden. Follow me. So this is my first bed I wanna share with you. In this first bed, I'm currently growing absolutely gorgeous blue scotch purple kale, green curly kale, collard leaves, fresh dill, fresh thyme, and fresh oregano. Lots of different varieties of basil. I have Thai basil, cinnamon basil, classic Italian basil, lemon basil, and even purple basil. I also have some marshmallow root growing and some tarragon growing in this bed as well. And something exciting that you'll see growing on the fence are butterfly pea flowers. These are the most beautiful blue flowers that you can make a tea out of or you can use as a blue coloring agent of any kind. I often like to put these blue flowers in my bathtub. This is the second bed I'd like to share with you. In this second bed, I have growing two different types of beets, rainbow carrots, collard greens, rainbow Swiss chard, dandelion greens, celery, green and purple pak choy, and some green mizuna.
This next bed is loaded with different types of salad greens. So we've got romaine, green leaf lettuce, all different types of salad varieties. Anything that you would put into a salad is in this bed. Lacinato kale, mizuna, arugula, different types of spinach, and bok choy. And as you can see from this bed, it has bolted a little bit, but that's because I'm gonna be harvesting everything soon. I'll be using it all in delicious salads and then I'll be replanting this bed next. Also, another great use for bolted greens is juicing because there are so many nutrients in the stems. So you can make a lot of green, mineral-rich juice from this bed right here. This is my pepper and cucumber bed, and I have planted so many different kinds of spicy peppers in this bed. I have mild to super spicy peppers and just a few cucumbers. In my pepper bed, I'm growing cayenne peppers, lots of cayenne peppers, tons of jalapenos, habaneros, Hawaiian chili peppers, Mexican chili peppers, a few different varieties of chili peppers because I love spice. I've also got more mild peppers like bell peppers, Anaheim peppers, poblano peppers, and I've even got some ghost peppers growing and I cannot wait to harvest these this summer. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, but I love spice and I love using these peppers in salsas, salad dressings, and more. I also have a few cucumbers planted in this bed and I've been able to harvest about one cucumber every three to four days. I'm blown away at how many cucumbers I've already harvested from this vine the past couple of weeks. While we're waiting for the rain to pass, I thought I would share a few things that I've learned about gardening with you. And one of the best tips that someone ever gave me was simply to grow what you want to eat. When you just begin your gardening journey, you get so excited and you want to grow everything. But the truth is, you won't actually eat everything that you grow because there's such a learning curve that comes with learning the placement, the light, the wind, the, the environment for every single leafy green, root veggie, herb, and more. And I have found it to be essential to simply learn to grow what you like to eat. There's something about it that fosters and cultivates a deeper relationship with your food when you're growing something that you really, really love. That's one of the reasons why I have such a huge herb bed, right? I have a whole bed dedicated to parsley, cilantro, and dill, and that's because I use those herbs every single day in my salads and my salad dressings. I consume a lot of herbs and I consume a lot of salad greens and kale. You'll notice I have beds whole beds dedicated to those leafy greens, and that's because I consume them every single day. Another tip that I'll give you is don't be afraid to fail when it comes to gardening. There literally is no such thing as failure. Gardening is a conversation with nature. You're nurturing these seeds so that they can provide you with food, which is ultimately life and nourishment for your body. What a special connection. When you grow your own food and you're cultivating that relationship where you see this plant grow from seed <laughs> to full fruit or leafy green or whatever it is that you're growing and then you get to consume it, that's a relationship, that's a connection, that is a spiritual practice. And coming in here every single day and being a part of your garden cultivating it, getting your hands in the soil, that's a practice, just like anything else you would learn how to master. And that type of relationship to me is a spiritual practice. And lastly, you might notice that I don't have any sweet fruits in my garden. My garden is loaded with leafy greens, root veggies, herbs, things I can juice, or non-sweet fruits like bell peppers and cucumbers, or things that I could add into a salad. The reason for that is because I live on a fruit orchard and the rest of the property is covered in fruit trees. So my garden is really dedicated to the things that I can use to prepare my salads. So my garden is my place where I can come every single day to harvest. And when I want to go and harvest fruits in the season that they're available, I can go down to the orchard and harvest those then. This is the last bed I wanna share with you and it is my herb bed. And in this bed I have growing dill, cilantro, and flat leaf parsley. The last thing I wanna show you before we go inside to prepare a nourishing meal are the watermelon seeds that I've planted. I have approximately 200 watermelon starters with seven 
seven or eight different varieties of melons. Watermelons that are red and yellow, cantaloupes, honeydews, canary melons, and more. So I'm gonna show you my starters and where I planted them because hopefully in the summer I'll be able to share with you giant melons. <laughs> so I've had to be creative with where I'm planting my watermelons to keep them away from the chickens and the pigs. So you can see I've actually lined the outskirt of my garden with these watermelon starters and I've used some of the bamboo from my enchanted forest to protect the starters from chickens and pigs. So I have them lined up all over the property like this. We'll see if this experiment works. I'm pretty excited about it. And you can also see that I have some sugarloaf pineapples planted in between those rocks as well. So I'm back inside after harvesting ingredients for my dinner. We're gonna prepare a rainbow salad, a simple dressing, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. How absolutely gorgeous does this salad look? To me, this looks like life, a simple nourishing salad. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If you have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. I hope this video has inspired you to start growing your own food. It doesn't have to be a full garden. It can be sprouts or microgreens on your countertop. If it has inspired you, please go check out True Leaf Market's organic and non-GMO seeds. I've linked them below in the description for you. Go stock up on your seeds and have fun growing your own food. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, please download my fully raw vegan recipe app. I have nearly 500 raw vegan recipes on my app, not just salads, but also juices, smoothies, desserts, dips, dressings. Any raw vegan recipe you're looking for is on that app, so please go give it a download. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play, and I've also linked that below for you in the description as well. All right, my friends, I'm gonna go and enjoy my dinner salad and enjoy this very peaceful and calming rain, and I hope that you get to go and have a wonderful evening as well. Sending you all my hugs and my love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.